So it is the best time of the year. It is snowing here in Switzerland and I'm super excited because today we're gonna go sledding. I actually rented this one. So it's gonna be really fun. And I'm gonna use it with the Insta360 GO 3. And this time I got the black version, which is the same as the white one. And I actually made a video not too long ago. If you guys are interested, you can check it out. And the best way to capture moments is to really use the Insta360 GO to mount it on different points to capture unique angles. And what I like about the Insta360 GO is that it's small, compact, and I can easily take the go 3 off the action pod and still have a preview to set my composition to get that interesting angle I need and right now I'm using it as a vlogging camera but at the same time I can also use it like I said to capture those unique moments and I have all the tools and accessories that allow me to get those creative shots like this clamp that I have over here to get a POV shot and for me the easier it is to set up my shot the more I can be in the moment now before I write down I want to thank insta360 for sponsoring this video. With that said, let's have some fun. So this time I want to try something completely different. I'm gonna lay down on the sledge like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> whoa, this is super fun. Oh, whoa, oh God. Oh. That was fun. So what do you think about the video? Pretty cool, right? Now in this video, I'm gonna show you three creative video ideas using the Insta360 GO 3 to help you make your videos stand out. Now, before we explore creative video ideas, let's first talk about the camera settings. Now when vlogging, I prefer using the standard video mode to record at 2.7K at 25 frames per second with a flat picture profile. The reason for that is that it gives me more flexibility when color grading my footage. Now for action shots, I like using the free frame video mode to capture in 1440p at either 25 or 50 frames per second if I need that slow motion. Now what's cool about this mode is that it allows me to adjust the framing easily in the Insta360 Studio or Insta360 app without much cropping. I can also switch between ultra wide, action linear and narrow views to find the best option. Additionally, I can also lock the horizon to keep my shots leveled all the time. So let's now move on to the creative video ideas. So idea number one is to capture different perspectives. This process can be especially tedious and time consuming with a traditional camera, but with the Insta360 GO 3, you can easily capture multiple perspectives as seen in the sledding footage. For example, because the GO 3 is magnetic, I was able to attach it to the front of the sled, giving viewers a unique POV experience. Now you might already know that Insta360 also provides different accessories for various mounting options. A magnetic clamp, for example, is one of the tools I always bring when using the Insta360 GO 3. In fact, I bring all of the accessories with me since they don't take up much space. By using a magnetic clamp, I can mount it on different points on the sled to get a shot from below, from the side or from the front, achieving a unique perspective that you usually won't get to see. And because the GO 3 is so small, it fits into tiny spaces. Now, what you also can do is capture static shots of yourself. I use the monkey tail for it because I can bend it in a way to use it as a tripod stand. And that really allowed me to catch myself sledding down the hill from a distance. And also by having that perspective, it made the scene feel more complete. Now, remember guys that these tips for capturing unique angles can be applied to any activity. Important is that you think outside of the box and put yourself in the viewer's shoes. Ask yourself what will make an interesting shot for them to see. And since you can use the screen on the action pod to see the actual shot you're capturing, this makes it super easy to experiment and get the perfect angle. Now, idea number two, one way to enhance your footage is by adding camera movement. With the Insta360 GO 3's flow state stabilization, you can achieve smooth shots without any shakiness. For example, I use the selfie stick while sledding to create a nice orbit shot around me. 
You can also capture handheld shots of your surroundings, like filming the trees while gently twisting the camera. And adding movements such as a slide shot or push out shot, you can bring more dynamic to your videos. Now, since filming yourself mainly involves a lot of static shots, you can also create a digital zoom in to fake the camera movement. Idea number three is to include transitions. Including transition in your video is a really great way to make your video stand out. It does require some planning, but the results are worth it. Take a look at this video. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Now in this example, I used the Go 3 and mounted it onto the camera clip to create a POV perspective. The first transition involves a match cut where I create the same hand movement twice, once without the carrot and then once with it. Then I simply cut the two together to make it appear as if the carrot is magically appearing. As for the second transition, I used a mask effect. I simply swipe my arm across the frame to mask the shot using keyframes in Final Cut Pro. I combined it with a clip of me walking the forest from a different location. The last transition involves a fade in and out to black. I achieved this by covering the lens with my hand in the first shot and then uncovering it in the second shot. In this case, I used a snowball. I think out of all transition, this is the most straightforward one and is a simple yet effective way to transition between locations. So as you can see, using the Insta360 GO 3 to film yourself in action can be a fun and creative way to capture your adventures. This would also be a great gift if you know someone who loves to film outdoor activities. It's also straightforward to use, especially for beginners, making a great option for anyone just starting out in the world of action cameras. I think the black version looks great and I think it's a good option for winter activities as it's easier to find in case you drop it in the snow. Other than that guys, I think the Insta360 GO 3 is a great option for anyone looking to capture their adventures in a unique and creative way. Hopefully you have a good idea on what you can do with it and how you can get creative with your videos. If you have any question guys, feel free to drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.